Buffalo, New York, and UB Stadium, home of the Buffalo Bulls, where the fans know that no one circles the wagons like the Buffalo Bulls. Today, two teams set to square off in a max slugfest. As we'll see, the Kent State Golden Flashes taking on the Buffalo Bulls. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Reese Davis, David Pollock, and Jesse Palmer with me. Guys, it's time to get it going. The Golden Flashes will boot it away to start the game. And he takes this from inside the five. Couldn't find a way to create that broken field as he stopped at the 25. So the Buffalo Bulls offense will get the first crack at it here. Here he comes. And obviously, defense is always going to be aware of a quarterback. But boy, he finds a way to put defenses on their heels all the time, David. I mean, what can't he do? He's got the weapons. He's got the confidence. He's got the experience. Jesse, these kind of guys are so hard to defend. You're right. They better be able to find a way to get pressure on him. Because if they don't, this is going to be a long day. Got the completion on the last play. Still some work to do on second down. Out of the gun. The inside handoff. Looking for a crease. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. You know, defensively, you live by the blitz, and you die by the blitz. That time, they dialed it up into the run play, and the linebacker able to make a nice tackle. This is where you make the money on the drives. Ball at the 30. It's third and short. Dropping back, it's Agbana. Fires on the move. That was almost picked off, and what a disaster that would have been to throw a pick on the opening drive. Instead, it's fourth down. Well, they try to throw fourth there on third down on the opening drive of the game. They don't get it, but let's punt the ball away. Let's trust our defense, and guys, let's also trust this home field advantage and the crowd to get loud and make it real difficult on our opponent. This guy is a daring punt return man. He's not going to settle for the fair catch. A solid return gets a little bit of ground for the offense. The Golden Flashes offense has the ball for the first time. As we take a look at our impact players for this one, what are you looking for, Jesse, for a guy to make an impact? Well, these are simply put the leaders of this football team, and generally games go how these guys play. If they make plays, they've got a shot to win this one. No doubt. they got to show up. These are the team leaders. These guys have to play well if they're going to win the football. And the Golden Flashes want to crank the tempo. Off the play fake. Takes a shot as he lets it go. That pass is incomplete, and they're probably fortunate that it wasn't knocked free for a fumble. Well, he didn't have a whole lot of time to get rid of that one. The defense was all over him right after the snap. No wonder that thing fell incomplete. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. From the gun, wants to pass. Got it in the middle, it's Martin. He's loose. Touchdown, Golden Flashes! And once he found some daylight, it was time to make a house call. Speed kills this offense. They've got multiple guys that can burn you. And you can see it doesn't take them long to light up the scoreboard. They'll try to add another to their lead. And he's got the extra point, and it's 7-0 to start this one. Quick strike offense on that three-play scoring drive. And the score comes courtesy of the big play, covering 61 yards on the touchdown pass. 
the kickoff team on the field as they'll send this one away. Let's see if he can make a play on the return. Nice job by the kickoff team. Everybody stayed in their lanes, and they'll stop him at the 16. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. Kept it on the ground on first down. Now back to the line. Back to pass. It's Agbara. Got his man quickly. And how about that catch and run? So dangerous, this guy. Find my guys quickly. Know my matchups. Get them the football. Let them do the rest. So many playmakers now in football. I'm trying to get it to them as fast as possible so he can do that. Right after the catch, make guys miss, make beautiful plays. He'll do it himself. You want to make sure to maximize those types of runs, and he gets it out to the 41. Yeah, and it's so hard to contain this guy with all those options he has and the experience at the quarterback spot, but nice job by the defense limiting the damage. Didn't give up a huge game. After a good pickup on the run, it's second down. He'll pull it on the read. One step wrap, two step squeeze. This junior knows how to get him on the ground. Yeah, and it's a nice job by this defense. Understanding, listen, that QB is a threat. And they're going to run all kinds of options, and he's going to run the football. They were dialed in and got that sucker to the ground. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. Looking to throw for it. He's right on target. And the defense makes the immediate tackle, but he has enough for the first down. You know, you don't see a lot of hitch throws against third down, but if you're going to give the receiver access like that, the quarterback's going to take it. That was just way too easy. The Bulls are flying down the field. Comes out throwing on first down. Caught in the backfield, it's Henderson. And there is nothing doing on that one. You got the completion and nothing else to show for it. Well, there was really nowhere to go for the quarterback with that football. He's just trying to check it down to his running back, and the defense was there, and they made the play. This offense has a second down play. They'll leave it with him. And he's stuffed by that big defensive tackle up front. Stopping the run is very high on every defensive coordinator's list. Making the team one-dimensional. Nice job stuffing the run on that play right there. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking downfield, it's Agbana. Come, and he's all bottled up, and now it's worse. The ball's loose. And he falls on top of his own fumble, and the offense will retain possession. It's so hard to force fumbles. And when you do, you so badly want to get them. You're crawling. You're doing whatever you can to get there as a defender. But the offense fortunate enough to cover it back up. And the Bulls line up to punt it away. This will be the second time they've had to kick it away. He'll take it on the return. And they'll bring him down to get the offense started on the next drive. They'll put this one in play first snap of the drive from the 25. Trying to make that rush think on the draw play here. Good, solid run on that one as he gets it up to the 33-yard line. Coaches always harp about staying ahead of the chains. And when you can run with that type of efficiency on first down, man, you are doing just that. The golden flashes come to the line in the hurry up. Looking for a crease, it's Thomas. They get him on the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. 
Well, the offense knew what they needed to get that first down, so they dial up the running play, and they get just enough to keep the drive alive. It's first and 10 from the 38-yard line. Out of the gun, the running back has it. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Man, a lot of times when you blitz that linebacker, it's about timing. You don't show your hand, and he gets up to the line of scrimmage, gets right through the line, makes the tackle for the loss. And as soon as the running back gets the football, he's got a face full of linebacker. Not much you can do there. Like, you got to have a little better block. you got to identify that blitz a little bit faster by the offensive line. They'll run it out of the shotgun. And just wedges it ahead a bit before he's brought down. I like feeding my guy. I like getting my running back touches, feeding the ball so he can break some of those big runs. But I'm also okay with these little ones. Set the tone, stay balanced. Here they come, facing third and long from the 40. It's a draw. And he's not going to get there. The defense stands tall and makes the stop. They're strong and they're sprawl. Defensive tackles, they're strong. They're such big jokers in the middle where they just lock out those offensive linemen. And running backs, listen, they don't have much of a chance. When you got that 300-plus pound guy grabbing you around the shoulder pad, you tend to go to the ground pretty quickly. Not going to risk a return here. He'll make the fair catch. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. David, the punter got some work last time. They'd like to keep him on the sidelines in this drive. Yeah, and it's not something you want to say very often. You don't want the punter out there. This offense needs to get back lathered up and get a little bit more of a rhythm. Best way to do that, identify where your best players are and just get them to football. Give these guys some touches to kickstart this offense. Nine-yard pickup on first down, and now they can take a shot on second and short. Looking for a man. It's Agbana. And it'll be incomplete. This defense is physical in pass deep. Yeah, and you use these running backs so much in the passing game now, and you expect him to make those plays for you, to make those big explosive plays out of the backfield. Just got to make sure he concentrates and see that ball come in. They'll try to move the chains on third and short from the 27. They'll try to move the chains on the ground. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Well, they're just trying to run the ball, but that time there was absolutely nowhere for the running back to go, and as a result, that's a tackle for loss. The Bulls will try to pin them back with the punt. Makes a move. He's brought down, but a really solid effort to pick up every bit of yardage he could on the punt return. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. They'll run it from the gun. He got a bunch and looked close to getting a lot more, but he's got the first down. All right, well, look, I know the defense was feeling real good about their run D coming into this one and how they've been playing up to this point, but finally, David, the offense breaks through and they finally generate something positive on the ground. And I can't tell you how easy it is. When you're going to throw the ball consistently, and I know it, I'm going to pin my ears back and I'm going to get to the quarterback. It makes life really easy on a defensive line. But when you can have balance, now the defense doesn't know what's coming. They need more of this if they're going to be successful on offense. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. That is a great play by the defensive end. The most athletic players on the field play defensive end. Yes, you heard me, Jess, Reese, exactly what I said. Great get off, great job getting the backfield, making the play. And the golden flashes, headed quickly to the line. To the air, it's Gubatowski. Throws to the wideout. Right on the money to the outside. He dragged the toe, and how about the ball placement? Only the receiver could get it. You know, it's easy to catch the football, but it's a lot harder to catch it when you're about to be out of bounds and you got to twist your body and turn it and keep it in bounds. What a great job by the receiver with great body control, staying in bounds and making the catch.
He'll come out throwing on first down. Fires deep toward the end zone. Excellent coverage and good use of the hands to knock it away. Yeah, and a really good job by the defender understanding the ball's coming. I got to break on it and go and not try to intercept it and make a bad play. He swats it down and makes sure that's an incompletion. After the misfire, it's second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Just goes right through the wicket and brings up third down. Man, he will be thinking about that one. Well, the receiver did everything right. He ran a good route. He got his head around. He just didn't finish the play. Just look it in. Ball spotted at the 27. They're facing a third and long to try to keep their hopes of a touchdown alive. Back to the air one more time. He's got his man. And he's brought down after a nice game. Just beautiful. And that's a great feeling as a quarterback when you make that throw. It keeps your offense on the field, keeps the offense in rhythm. Obviously not as good as throwing a touchdown pass, but I'll tell you this, way better than having to trot up over to the bench and wait for your turn to get another shot. Now from inside the red zone. He makes a grab. He'll be stopped just short of the end zone, but they'll have it first and goal. This offense has become a first down machine, and that is so demoralizing for the defense, especially for those star players that are playing tons of snaps. They're not subbing out as much. By the fourth quarter, they're going to be gassed. They'll try to get it in with the run. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. There is nowhere to run and nowhere to hide on these situations. You know the physical ground game comes into play inside the five-yard line, and they match the intensity. Nice job. Everybody flying around to the football, making the tackle for a loss. Nice job by this defense. They'll try to run it in. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Kent State. And the running back was not going to be denied on that play. He had a hole. He saw it. He put his foot in the ground. And that was pay dirt. Lining up for the PAT. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. They just finished off a 53-yard scoring drive and closed the deal with a three-yard touchdown run. The kickoff team out there and ready to go. Here he comes from inside his own five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. They'll be able to get off one more play before quarter's end. The give on the inside. And he's knocked down behind the line of scrimmage, and that'll do it for the first quarter. Guys, that'll do it for the quarter, and it's Kent State on top. Man, that was an impressive and dominant first quarter. Let's take a look at the stats before we move on. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Back to pass. It's Agbana. Get it out on the screen. Didn't have much room to run and not a whole lot of help. Short game there and still plenty of ground to cover for the first down. And he didn't get a big gain. You, you want to call that play and probably want to get more yards, but you could tell that was super close from seriously busting loose. Nice job running the screen, getting the ball to your playmaker. If he could just make one more guy miss, that might have been huge. Quarterback now breaking the field. He gets the job done, picking up the first down, then getting down. Nice job, nice way to end that play for the QB. He does a really good job scrambling, getting the first down, and getting down. Because defensively, I'm trying to get a lick. Anytime I can hit the quarterback, that is a win. And the Bulls have it with a first and ten. Motion by the back forces the defense to adjust. 
Caught in the backfield, it's Henderson. And they pick up just a few on that completion. Well, it's important in this game, this offense gets the running back involved out on the perimeter in space where he can do some damage. That time they got it to him throwing the football. He picked up a couple of yards, but it gives the defense something to think about. Here comes the offense on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the wideout. Pass on the way. It's picked off. Takes it the other way. The 10. Touchdown. Golden flashes. A great return for the touchdown. Any return for a touchdown is a great one to a defense. Look, I know it's only the second quarter, but we're starting to see a pretty significant gap develop between these two teams right now. No doubt. When your defense is scoring, your offense is scoring, good things happening for your ball club. This defense on point, reading their scouting report, making big plays. Lining up to tack one more onto that lead. And with the extra point, they're up 21 to nothing. They're about to kick it away, and the defense probably can't wait to get back out there after the pick six. On the run from inside his own five. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. Trailing by three touchdowns. If you're going to get back in it, David, the time to start is right now. Got to start now. Defense giving up points on that last possession. Again, the offense is going to have to score, and Jesse probably score pretty quick. Yeah, you got to go tempo. You're going to have to try to fit in as many plays as you can throughout the rest of this game, but I think more than that, you got to eliminate the negative plays. No more penalties and no more turnovers. Keeps it and gets past the chains. And he surges up to the 36-yard line, and they'll move the chain. The Bulls will hustle to the line. Leaves it with the back. And I think they'll give him two on that one. Second and eight coming up. And the running back didn't get much there. Nice job by the defense. You can tell they're focused in on this running back, on this run game, being physical, getting knockbacks, and limiting his carries. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. Dropping back, it's Agbana. Throws to the wideout. Holds it in. And they reacted well to the completion, but it was too late to keep them from getting the first down. It's really tough on offenses when defenses know what you got to do. You got to pass the football. They're in man coverage. How about the receiver understanding where the first down is? He smells it. He goes and gets it. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. And that's a really nice play. It's impressive. When it's first down and the defense thinks you might be running the football, you still can line up. You can get some movement at the point of attack and find a little crease for your running back. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. On the run, it's Henderson. And a good, solid pickup before the defense cuts him down. Just a simple power play. Again, not sexy. Run the ball up the middle. Physicality, offensive line gets to assert themselves, run block, which they love to do. This pays dividends down the road in the fourth quarter. The defense trying to get a stop on third down from the 44. They'll try to get it through the air. He's got an open man. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. 
What a beautiful throw and catch on this play. And I love the job the receiver did tracking the ball in the air. Nice job of locating the throw and then hauling it in. Off the play fake on first down, wants to throw. And it'll be intercepted in the end zone. And this is obviously not a great start for this quarterback here. Two interceptions already in this game. He's got to do a much better job with his decision making. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Back to throw, it's Gulatowski. Looking for a deep man. Makes the grab on the right. Can anyone catch him? And he'll haul it in and take it to the end zone. Touchdown, Kent State! And I think in the pre-snap, I think both of these guys were on the same page. They had a look defensively that let them know we can pitch this thing way down the field. I'm going to go run under and make a big play for it. Yeah, and when I'm the receiver, I'm like, I'm open, right? I'm, I'm going straight down the field. Throw me the football. I got the speed. I can beat this guy. You can tell they've done that so much in practice. They knew it was second nature, and they executed it perfectly. Ready to try the point after. The kick is up and good and put one more on the lead. That one's going to get a little star marked beside it on the play sheet. One play, explosive, touchdown just like that. They're just about ready to kick it away. He'll start the return inside his five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. Got it in the middle. It's Snow. They stop him just a link or two short of the first, and man, what they can do on second down here. Great job by the quarterback there. He saw the safety bite on the run fake. So as the safety comes running downhill, he now knows he has the slant throw to his receiver on the outside. Line getting set on second down. He's looking to throw. Fires to the big fella. Dragged down to the turf, but not before getting the first down. Love the way he didn't just run to a spot. He found the cushion in the zone and got himself open for the first down. Yeah, and you're taught to find that space. Don't run right into a zone defender who's sitting there looking at the quarterback and looking at you. So much creativity with routes now and being able to just have subtle moves one way, come back the other way. Nice job by the tight end finding that hole in the zone. The give to the running back from the shotgun. At midfield, he's got room. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. First down, you know you always want to establish the running game. How about this offense? Nothing fancy. Run the football. Be physical. Get a big game. Not the most productive half for this offense so far, but finally starting to get it in gear. First and ten. They'll try it on the ground, running the counter. Not a whole lot of room there. Three yards, maybe. Second and seven. Oh, man, there's some big hitting going on in the trenches right now. This defense, they take a lot of pride in stopping the run. Let's keep our eye on them throughout the course of the game and see if they can contain this running attack. Got three on first down. It's second and seven. To the air. It's Agbana. Fires to the middle. All kinds of room to throw that one in there. That is exactly what you're looking for when you talk explosive plays. The defense finally able to make the stop. And the Bulls with the first and ten. They'll throw it from the red zone. They get enough rush, and it pays off the sack at the 20. 
And that is a huge play for the defense. Offense has it in your red zone. You're trying to knock them out of field goal range. The only way you do that is by creating negative plays, and they get the sack. After the big first down sack, it's second down. Pre-snap motion in the backfield. On second down, he's looking downfield. Unloads to the wideout. And he dropped it, just didn't look the thing all the way in. Hopefully that's not going to affect the quarterback's confidence going back to this guy later. That was a catch he should have made. He dropped it. Let's see what the QB does moving forward. Seventh play of the drive coming up, but a long way to go on third down. Looking to throw, and he needs a chunk play. Pressure coming. Just threw that one away to avoid disaster. And the offense got themselves in a tough situation. Third and long, so hard to execute, especially when the field starts to shrink. But the good news is they got a field goal in their back pocket. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. From the left hash, he'll try to bend in a 37-yarder. And the kicker delivers the three to salvage that drive. They'll kick it away after putting up a field goal on that last drive. The returner will field it and try to get some field position. Stopped at the 17, and he's probably second-guessing that return. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. From the gun, he leaves it with the back. Get some work done there. Pick up a four to the 22. Nice run there on first down. You know, this is a running back that gets better as the game goes on. So they're going to want to make sure they keep feeding him the football, let him get lathered up. Solid pickup of four on first down. It's second and six. Trying play action. Going to let it fly. Almost intercepted. It'll fall incomplete. The defense almost came up with a turnover. Oh, and on defense, you just got to be able to finish that play. That defender had the football in his hands. He's just got to catch it. That should have been an interception. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Looking to throw, it's Gulatowski. Looking left. It's complete. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Man, this quarterback is having himself a day. Over 200 yards in the first half. It was hard enough for Palmer to get over 200 in a game, more or less in a first half. Looking to go up top on first down. He makes the connection. Tackled immediately after the catch. I really like the slot receiver, and I understand he's not the biggest guy in the world, but he just runs really good routes, and he's always under control. He can run option routes. He can run double moves. He does a great job cutting, and he's dangerous after the catch. Nice weapon to have work in the middle of the field. Handoff from the shotgun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. I, I like it. Just frustrate the defense. Get that five to six yards. Make them honor the run. Make them know that you're willing to run the football and run it effectively. Just this side of midfield, the defense trying to rise up on third and short from the 49. They'll try to bully their way for the first. Brought to the ground, but not before getting enough for the first down. Well, the offense is in a really nice rhythm right now. It seems like no matter what they're dialing up, they're getting positive yards, and it just feels so good as a play caller when you know on first down you can get yards like that turning around and handing it off. 
Yeah, and on the other side, you're scratching your head going, what the heck can I do here? you got to find something. The defense has got to find a way to create some momentum. Whatever they're doing right now, it's not working. So you got to keep going through that play sheet and maybe find something a little bit different that can give this offense something to think about. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. Yeah, and you're going to see this offense find different ways to get this running back involved. It's not just going to be on handoffs, and they're certainly going to line him up in different places and even throw him the football. But the screen game's a big part of it, too. They're trying to get him going there. Offense gets set for second down. Fires to the wideout. The offense will quickly use a timeout. Couldn't find his man last time, and that leaves him with a third and six. Looking downfield, it's Ulitowski. And a missed opportunity on third down as the defense knocks it free and fourth down is coming up. Got to give the defense credit on that play, taking everything away, forcing the incompletion. Now it's decision time. Fourth and short, and you're in field goal range. What do you do here? And they'll pat the kicker on the tail and tell him to go give it a shot. He says he's got a big leg. He's going to have to show it from 56 yards out. Field goal is good. And now the lead is extended a little far. Well, that kid just showed off his hammer for a leg. 50-plus, and he did it with ease. They're really starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. On the move from inside is five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. They'll come out on this drive and let it rip. Just a short pass to the tight end. There's a timeout called as this offense tries to find a way to draw a little closer. Lining up from the 34 on first down. He's going to pass, trying to get to him. And he was drilled just as he released the pass. It's incomplete. Doesn't take this defense a lot of time to get to the quarterback, man. They've got speed all over the place. They hit him so quickly, and because of that, the ball falls incomplete. Now on second down after the incompletion. Dropping back, it's Agbana. They're bringing heat. And they got him for the sack. The defense going to stop the clock with a timeout. They want to make sure they have everybody on the same page. Well, I think one of the biggest reasons why this team is finding themselves in a hole here in the first half is this has been a sack party. They can't keep the defense off of their quarterback. They haven't been able to get the ball deep down the field, throwing it with the consistency they want because they can't keep their quarterback standing up straight. Quick timeout by the defense there, trying to make sure everyone has the same call. The Bulls will line up to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. They'll get down and put a stop to this return. They'll mark it at the 32. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. They'll throw it on first down. He's got it down the middle. They stop him just short of the first down, but it will be second and inches coming up. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? And they'll come to the line with less than a yard to go. On second down, he'll let it fly. He finds a soft spot in the middle. Now they're starting to feel it. They've got a first down at the 44. First half in the books. Time now to join Kevin Connors in our halftime update. Guys, you've had yourselves a superb broadcast so far today in Western New York.
And it'd be easy to say these two offenses are glad we've hit halftime based on their respective performances. It would also be accurate. Turnovers and sacks have told the story so far. And you got to believe the play calling has been the issue, right? Time to shred those game plans and just get back to basics. And with that, let's send it back to the fellas inside picturesque UB Stadium. And the Bulls will kick it off to start the second half. He'll bring it out from inside his own 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Quickly complete. They make the stop right there. Good pickup and still short of the first down. And that's why QBs love their tight ends so much, right? Especially when they're athletic, because they make short throws turn into long games. Because of his ability after the catch, it's so unique and special. He is dominant in this offense. They'll line up for a second down play. They'll try to get outside. Nowhere to run on that one. He loses four on the carry. Yeah, and listen, the offense has had their way, and they've had so much success and so much production, but listen, at least the defense got a rep. You know, maybe this gets you some a spark. Maybe this gets you some energy. Maybe we'll see a little bit more life from this defense. Yeah, they may not win the game, but I think this defensive coaching staff at this point, based on how this game has gone, they're just trying to find things to build off of. And maybe that... And the pressure was too much. They get him at the 15. Well, this defense knew they had to get off to a fast start here in the second half. They're trailing by a bunch of points right now on the scoreboard. They needed to make something positive happen early. And on the very first drive, they get a sack on third down, looking to get the ball back to their offense here. The golden flashes will send out the punt unit. Three and out and not much choice but to get rid of the ball. Good job by the coverage unit to put a stop to that return. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. That last drive won't go on the highlight reel after ending in a punt. They'd like to be more productive this time, David. And I think this offense has to be a little bit more balanced. Find a little balance between the run, Jesse, and working in that pass. And I think, too, David, it's just going to take a spark. It just takes one play to get this thing picked up and going. Now on first down from the 40. Using his legs, it's Henderson. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Listen, that wasn't the greatest run in the world, but it was very successful, and you're making me honor the run. And another thing, every time you run the football, someone gets tackled. There's physicality involved in the game. So I like when offenses commit to the run in the football, no matter what the outcome is, because those body blows do add up. Using the quick game, he almost picked up the first down on that one, but he'll be just a little bit short. Well, you hear all the time that the tight end's the QB's best friend. You saw a perfect example of it on that last play, right? Second down, you need to pick up some positive yards to keep this third down manageable. Really nice job of executing there. Ball at the 31, third and short coming defense trying to rise up. They'll try to power their way ahead. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets them a first at the 29. Yeah, a nice job dialing up that short yardage situation play call there, David. They needed one yard, and they picked up two. Yeah, great job up front. Great job by the back knowing where they need to go. Nice having a hole you can get through and not have to just do it all on your own as a running back. To throw, it's Agbana. Unloads it left. Makes a connection. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. I like the running back there on the route and the patience he showed, really setting it up. He got to the defender, he was able to put his foot in the ground, get some separation, catch it, and turn upfield for the first. The Bulls trying to cash it in on first and goal. They'll try to get it in with the run. 
He works his way ever closer all the way down to the one-yard line. I like this guy as a running back because he can run between the tackles and he can also go outside. He can really do it all. Looking for just one more yard. It's second and goal. The play action fake. Let's it fly. To the end zone and it's picked off. And he's brought down after the pick, but not before putting his offense in business. It's so nice to see defenders squeeze that pigskin. A lot of times, in great position, you see him there to make the play, but there's a reason they play defense. Not this time. Great job securing the interception. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. After the three-yard pickup, they come to the line second and seven. He's looking to throw. Can't make the catch, and it'll be third down. He had that thing and just lost his concentration. They're trying to get the receiver on a drag route and work him through all the bodies in traffic, but there's just too much happening. I don't think he saw the throw real well, and it falls incomplete. They couldn't make the connection on second down. Now a third and seven to keep the drive alive. Wants to throw. It's Gulatowski. He tosses one high and deep down the left side. And trying to put points on the board on third down, now they're staring at fourth down. That's a great job by the DB playing the ball in the air. You see it all the time. DBs kind of get turned around. The wide receiver goes up and makes a catch. No, sir. DB, great position, knocks the ball down for an incompletion. And the golden flashes decide to punt it away. He's going to try to flip the field with this one. Slips through the line. The coverage team was down there to corral him. They made the stop, and they'll mark it at the 39. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. From the shotgun, the inside give. Really nice run there. Good, solid pickup, and they'll move the sticks with a first down. You ain't getting by all these guys right up the middle unless your offensive line and your tight ends and everybody is putting in the work up front, committing to blocking. The running back does a great job finding the hole, exploding through. How about that nice, big, huge game? If I'm the OC, let's call that one again. Right back to the well. Really nice stop there from this senior leader. And the defense doing a great job committing to the run. When you commit to the run like this, obviously, you can give up some plays in the passing game, but you got to stop the run first. After picking up a couple, it's second and eight. From the gun, the running back looking for room. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. Keep pounding away at this defense and make them play the run. If you can get this many a chunk, they're going to have to commit more guys to the box, more guys to the run. Then you open it up for the passing game. Looking to pick up a first down on third and short from the 43. To the ground to try to move the chains. Now with a great opportunity as they pick up the first down, they've got it at the 40. And I don't care if I get it by 2, by 20, by 30, by 40. I just... I just want to get the first down, understanding the situation, understanding where the sticks are. Doesn't have to be sexy, but I got to make sure I get to that stick, get to the first down mark. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. Finds his man. It's Henderson. He's brought down solid pickup, but a little bit short of the first down. Guys out of the backfield now, it's not just run the ball downhill anymore. You got to be versatile. I got to be able to trust you in the pass game, and I got to be able to throw you the football, and you can do that right there. I know you're going to catch it, and I can depend on you. And here comes the offense on second down. Back to throw. It's Agbana. Fires to the big fella. Excellent job working through the air there, finding a hole in that defense and picking up a first down. 
really good job working through his progression. You get it to him quickly, and the big tight end has a chance to run a little. And a really good job by the QB throwing an accurate throw. I, I got to hit those guys on the move, on the run, so they can do this. They can catch the football, get upfield, and chew up some extra yards. And into the end zone. And he's loose, and he'll take it to the house. Touchdown, Buffalo. Got to start cutting into this lead somewhere. Now the question, will they have enough time? But that's step one. You got to get that first score. You got to get back in the ball game and get some of that momentum back on your side. You still got more work to do, but step one accomplished. He'll try to tack on one more. And the extra point gets him a little closer at 31-10. That touchdown drive covered 61 yards. And it was capped off with an impressive 18-yard touchdown run. Maybe feeling a little better about things. Still a 21-point game as they're set to kick it off. Here's the return from inside his 10. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. Getting that push, they pick up a four out to the 26. You know, it's so important for offenses to want to keep third downs manageable. The way you do that is by having success like that, running the football on first down. After the productive first down play, it's second and six. A little too anxious along that offensive line. That'll be a false start. So the decision has been made, and the coach will take the penalty. Second down coming up. He'll try to pop the draw. Got to be smart. Patient, great vision, uses all of that to get to the 29. And oftentimes running backs love draw plays because there's less traffic in front of them. The offensive line is selling pass, the quarterback's selling pass. They don't get the handoff until the very last possible second. So the D-line's rushed away upfield, and now it's so much easier for these backs to find their holes and pick their lanes. To the ground to try to pick up the first. Nice job to get it past the sticks, and they get him down at the 35. Draws are such a smart way to take advantage of fast defensive linemen that want to get upfield and get after the quarterback. It keeps them honest, makes them realize they got to play the run, too. Great play call. The Golden Flashes will have it first and 10. And they're able to get him down. He does a really good job being decisive, getting downhill, being a great runner. And guess what? You know how easy offense is when you get me at second and short, second and medium? Everything in the playbook is open to you. Kept it on the ground on first down. See if they stick with that plan on second. Using his legs, it's Douglas. Nowhere to run on that when he loses four on the carry. Well, there's just nowhere to go for the runner on that last play. Just way too much penetration up front. And as a result, they lose yardage. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. Got a man in the middle. Defense caught out of position, and they get him down finally at the 38. And they just want to give this guy a chance to make a play on third down. And more times than not, he is going to deliver. And he's so good, so efficient, such a good route runner, got the speed, got the complete game. So you definitely want to highlight him, and especially on those downs that matter the most. If something's not open quick underneath, find him. He'll make those contested catches. And he drops it, just took his eye off of it at the last minute. The incompletion brings up a second down. To the air, it's Gulatowski. And the pass is incomplete thanks to a big hit. Well, the quarterback knew he wanted to go to his tight end on that play. He's a big physical target, but it was the hit on the play that forced the incompletion. 
They were on the move, but two straight incompletions had them staring at third and ten. From the gun, wants to pass. Lost one deep down the right side. Really nice third down sub defense there at that time. It's third and long. They're expecting pass, and they're mixing up their looks. They're trying to change the picture pre-snap to post-snap to confuse the quarterback, and now forcing the incompletion setting up fourth. It's fourth down, and they'll try the field goal. Everything will have to be clean from 55 yards away. And he's got it counted all the way to 55. Never in doubt. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. They keep pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. He'll bring it back from inside his five. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. They face a pretty tall mountain here, Jesse, down 24, but if they're going to climb it, this is a good time to start. Sense of urgency's got to be big right here. You just get the feeling at this point of the game, David, they've got to score on this drive. Obviously, their defense needs to get stops, but at this point, offensively, they've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. Off the bootleg and rolling out. And the quarterback goes down at the 11-yard line. Well, we've seen this offense struggle early in this game, protecting the quarterback. They went in at halftime, thought they'd made the right adjustments, but it's not looking like it right now. They're still having issues keeping this guy standing up straight. Up front, they're just getting beat across the board. They've already punted four times in this game, and they're about to run the guy out there for a fifth time if they don't pick up the first down here. On third and long, a check down would be the last resort. Going to try to get it himself. And he's not going to make it. The defense denying him the first down. These two quarterbacks have produced as we check out their numbers after three. Just about ready to go in the fourth, and we'll see if any drama can be mustered. And the Bulls will punt it away on fourth down. They've been busy out there to punt for the fifth time today. He only needs a sliver of daylight. And the return man is stopped, and that'll leave it up to the offense on the next drive. See if they can turn this drive into points. They've got it first and 10 at the 50. From the gun, running back gets to give. Good pickup on that play. It'll bring up second and four. Man, that's the advantage of having a good coaching staff that teach these players in this type of situation with the lead late in the game. You want to stay in the field of play and keep the clock ticking. They do that after that nice run. Got six on first down. Now a lot of options on second and four. Going to run it. It's Thomas. They'll wrestle him down just short of the first down. I don't even think they're going to bring out the chains to measure this one. I think that was an example of the offensive coordinator trying to help out his quarterback. He's trying to keep these third downs manageable. You know, you throw the ball on second down and it's incomplete. Now you've set up third and long, and now you're set up to fail. They're going to go to the air on third and short. And this is dropped. Oh, my goodness. It was just too easy, and he didn't look it in. Yeah, and third and short, they choose not to run, throw the football, and I think a lot of that has to do with they know they're in field goal range. They can take the three points on the board. And the golden flashes send out the punt unit. He's getting a lot of work. Fourth time he's punted tonight. 
Make sure that there's not going to be a return on this one. Ball's out of bounds, and I think they'll mark it right around the 25. Looking to throw, it's Agbana. Fires to the right. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there forces second down. You see an incompletion there. I think a big reason why this team is in such a hole right now in the fourth quarter is they have just not been able to find the explosive plays throwing the ball. And you got to wonder at this point, is it too little too late? The incomplete pass leaves them with second down. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. He makes a catch. And he gets it to the 45-yard line, and that'll be a first down. The offense has struggled. They're not going to win this game. But trust me, this coaching staff is still trying to find things to build off of for next week. And after an explosive play like that, maybe they can generate just a little bit of momentum and gain a little bit of confidence that they can keep coaching up heading into their next game. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. The incompletion leads to second and ten. He's looking to throw. Fires to the middle. He's got him wide open. They're ripping off chunks of yard to get it to the 33. Well, the Titans trying to work the middle of the field. Nobody even close to him in coverage. It's not going to get any easier than that for the quarterback. That's an easy first down. The Bulls are moving quickly down the field. He'll just keep slinging it. Throws to the wideout. Complete downfield. And right in the middle of tight coverage, and he still makes the grab at the 15. This is an offense that has skill, and they've got speed. And because of that, this defense, they can't lull themselves to sleep. They've got a big lead here late, but they've now given up back-to-back -back big plays. they got to put the clamps down. And the Bulls will snap it on first and ten. From the red zone, looking for a space. Makes the catch. It's Henderson. And good coverage by the defense, just a short game. They were able to get the ball to the running back in space, but that space just evaporated. Man, a great job by the defense, man. It's tough to get those guys on the ground. They're so used to being having the football as running backs and making plays and being dynamic. So usually one guy not going to get into the ground. You want many guys swarming to the football, trying to get that elusive guy on the ground. Leaves it with the running back. Give him about a yard on the play. It's down at the 10. Boy, they love to move the sticks here and take a shot at it on first and goal. Looking to pass. It's Agbana. Fires to the end zone. Touchdown, Bulls. And they made it to the house where they found that six points waiting on them. Man, find your weapons. Nice job by the quarterback. Find the running back out of the backfield. He catches it and does the rest. Walks into the end zone for the touchdown. Now the two-point conversion attempt is coming. Wants to go up top. Got the back over the middle. He'll make his way in for the two, and now they're down by 16. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown, and they finish it off by connecting from 10 yards out. About to kick it off after punching it in for the touchdown. And he takes this from inside the five. Good job by the coverage unit to stop the return man. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. Last time, David, it was one, two, three, kick. The last drive, that three and out, sometimes that puts your defense in a bad spot. And you got to get a drive together here so you don't wear the defense out. I just think, David, too predictable that last drive. They got to do something here to get this defense on their heels. The golden flashes, racing to the line in the hurry up. Off 
play action. And he scoots his way to the first down and then slides to avoid the hit. Second and short is a great situation to be in. And look at him. He drops back to pass the football. He doesn't have to throw the football. He wants to be aggressive, but he can just take off and scramble. Doesn't have to take a chance. Great being ahead of the sticks. They'll start this one from the 29 on first down. He wants to throw. Gets it out quickly. They make the stop after the catch and still some work to do to pick up that first down. Using him out of the slot, he has just been unstoppable. And I love putting dynamic athletes in the slot that I can move around, that I can put in motion, that I can, I can make him go in or out. I can put him off the ball so you can't get hands on him. And they've really featured this guy today. Off the boot, looking for his man. Makes the grab. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Fresh set of downs after the completion. Looking for a man, it's Gulatowski. Fires to the tight end. And a good job of coverage by that defense, just a short pickup. Look, you can't take away everything, right? So you give them that and rally and make a solid tap. Yeah, and a lot of times in zone coverage, I like when I can get all the eyes on the quarterback. I like when I can see the routes and see him develop in the middle. And you can tell they had keys on the tight end. He wasn't going anywhere after he caught that football. And he really needed to hold on to that one, but it was not loose, and third down is coming. If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. They keep attacking through the air. Buys a little time with his feet. Trying to make magic on the scramble. Nifty little scamper on this one. Enough for the first down, and he slides in safely. Yeah, I think you're just seeing the experience this guy has, right? He's so poised that initially he's flushed out of the pocket, nothing's open, and he doesn't panic. He's not throwing it away. He's not sliding early. He just knows where the defense isn't. And he's able to attack that space with his speed and get a positive play. Going to run it. It's Thomas. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. It's going to be tough sledding for the offense here. They're trying to ice this game by running the football and leading the clock. They've got a pretty good lead here late in the game, but the defense knows the run's coming, right? So they're going to be loading the line of scrimmage, getting stops like what they just did. Be interesting to see what the offense does on this next one. Looking to throw on second down. Catch in the middle. It's McCray. Bounced off his feet. Defense just hasn't had an answer for this guy. He has been on point. This is about as good as I've seen him play at the quarterback position. And here in the fourth quarter with a big lead, he's still taking shots. And the golden flashes moving quickly to the line. Back to throw. It's Gubatowski. He can't make the catch, had it right in his hands, and it'll be fourth down. Well, they're trying to hit the slant, right? That's a bang-bang type play. It's got to happen fast. Good throw. Receiver just couldn't come up with the catch. So this field goal unit has been getting the job done. They've already made a couple here today. And if they can make this and turn it into a three-score game, they'll have this one all but locked up. Kick is good. And the offense has three points to show for the drive. And that lead grows even bigger. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. 
Here he comes from inside his own five. Not a lot of space to be found. Good hustle by the coverage team, and they stop him at the 21. Buffalo has it back. Let's see what the Bulls' offense can do. He'll start this drive firing. Unloads to the wideout. Oh, he drops the football. He had him right down the gut of the field. Instead, it'll be second down. Well, this guy must feel like he's run into a buzzsaw in this game. He has been under duress all game long, and that's a big reason why he's thrown multiple interceptions in the game, too. Nothing coming easy to him. It's hard to see the field when your internal clock is going off so fast because of the pressure of this defense, and that's why they find themselves down by so much here in the fourth. Man, and that's a big missed opportunity for the running back. I'm trying to find ways to feature this guy and get him the football in space and not just hand it to him all the time. And tell you what, I'm a lot less likely to find those plays if he can't reel in those catches. A third and long coming up here. To the air, it's Agbana. They're trying to get to him. And he just throws it away. That is not what you're looking for on third down. Fourth down coming up. It's a nice adjustment by the defense here. With a big lead in the game, you're putting extra DBs on the field, knowing the offense has to throw to get back in this one in the fourth quarter. So your best cover guys on the field, and they force an incompletion on the last one. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Going over the top. And it's incomplete, and this defense makes a fourth down stop. A great spot to start this drive for the offense. Wants to throw on first down off the play fake. Fires to the right. Got a wide open receiver. Works his way to the four-yard line, and they'll have it first and goal. And if it ain't broke, don't fix it, right? This is what got this team in this position to win this game. Aggressive offense, taking shots. Here we are in the fourth quarter. They've got the lead. Why stop now? The golden flashes will try to punch it in on first and goal. Snap in the shotgun. Fires into the end zone. Touchdown, golden flashes. And the stomping has commenced. And this offense continuing to put up points. This game's out of reach. You know you're going to win, but still throwing the football, still finding that connection. I imagine there'll be some salty handshakes at the end of this game. Now they'll line up for what they hope is automatic. And the extra point will tack another one onto this lead. They got the ball in great field position, and bam, bam, two plays and into the end zone. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. Looking for an alley from inside his own 10. And the returner will be knocked down. The Buffalo offense headed back to the field. They were really aggressive going for it in their own end last time. It put them in a tough spot, David. Yeah, aggressive, reckless. They got to find the balance with this offense to really be productive. And last possession they went for it, they rolled the dice, Palmer, and it didn't work out for them. Yeah, if you're better on third down moving forward, though, you can keep yourself out of those situations. Clock is under four minutes as they come to the line for second down. Looking to throw, it's Agbana. It's caught downfield. Big, big gain on that one as he steps out of bounds with a first down. And the best thing about this, the offense can't worry about the scoreboard. Just keep trying to make plays like that, Jesse. I know a lot of people in the stadium probably feel like this game is over. and Maybe it's been over for a while, Reese, but don't tell that to this quarterback and his teammates. They're still out there scrapping and clawing. They'll throw it on first down. Fires to the wideout. He's got it. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And listen, you get zone coverage and you can hit that curl route and he comes open continually, keep hitting it. This might be a play to come back to. The Bulls getting set on first and ten. Yeah. 
to the ground with the back. Giving him his pads. And he'll step into the end zone. Touchdown, Buffalo! This is why you consistently run the football. A steady diet because you can break the long touchdown runs. Nice job breaking through the line of scrimmage, outrunning the rest, getting in for the long touchdown run. Lining up to add another. Splits those uprights right in half. Quick work on that scoring drive, just four plays. And the finisher came on a terrific 24-yard run to the house. The deficit is huge. This one is all but over, but they'll keep trying and line up for the onside kick. They were ready for the onside kick and executed perfectly, and they secure the football. Guys, let's see how it goes this time for the Kent State offense. On the ground, trying to pull the plug on this clock. Really nice awareness by that guy, too, because it looked as though his momentum might carry him out of bounds, might stop the clock, but he knew to get down. He was fighting to make sure he fell down in the field to play, and as a result, the clock keeps ticking. Got eight on first down, now looking at a second and two. Running back searching for a hole. Tackle is made after the first down. Yeah, it's make or break time for this defense. Now they got to get a stop. And if that's bringing more bodies in, bringing more beef in, they're running the football right up the gut, right at you. They're not going to throw the football in this situation. Time to be more physical and get this big stop. We've reached a two-minute warning, and this offense will be quite content just to drain the rest of the time away. Ball spotted at the 27. It's first and 10. From the gun, the running back has it. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game. Make them one-dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Picked up two yards on that last one. They need eight on second down. They'll put the tight end in motion. The give from the gun. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. From here, it would just be a 30-yard field goal try. Let's see how aggressive they're going to be to try to pick up that first down. Hand off from the gun. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. And sometimes for the defense, it just takes one play, right, to create some momentum. Obviously, this guy's been eating him up. He's got over 100 yards rushing on the day. But finally, David, they get something positive here in the run game defensively. But you kind of know that coming in. He's going to get his. Such a great back, and he's had a great day. Need to put more plays together like that right there. It is good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. 